uh, Wolfgang my name, born and raised in the south part of Germany, in Bavaria. I moved to Switzerland in the year 2006. I developed this company, I founded this company, I wanted to go global with this company and I realized if I want to do it without the help of the bank, I need to save money. So let's go to a country where you pay lower taxes because you can keep that money and reinvest it in the, in the company and that's what I did. And that was more or less why I ended up in Switzerland in the first place. But of course Switzerland is also a very beautiful country. It looks almost the same like where I was born and raised in the Alps. And it's actually, my, my, my home now in Switzerland is only two and a half hours away by car from my Bavarian home. So it's very close, you know. I got diagnosed with a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the tender age of 26 years old. I was in, into sports. Um, and, uh, and obviously not a nice message at that age. And I went through the whole classical medical practice, two surgeries, one full stage of chemotherapy. I lost 40 kilos within that six months. I was not the same person than before and comparing to many others uh, 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 sharing the same, uh, the same story that I have, I'm not alone with this, we have millions and millions of people suffering from more or less the same thing nowadays and today, but um, I was always a guy who was questioning things and, 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 and a guy who, was, who wants to know what's going on whenever something happened to me. And so it was with this... Uh, with this cancer, I, 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 in, instead of just try to forget about it, I went into that, I, I started uh, investigating what is this cancer all about, why, why, why did I get it, which, which is unanswered till today, I don't know, frankly speaking. Um, but at least you know, I wanted to know more about it. And m most importantly, I also wanted to find ideas and, uh, and uh, uh, um, tools how I could become proactive to create a situation that this cancer doesn't, doesn't appear anymore. Because the biggest fear of every cancer patient is, whenever you went through the whole thing, that it will not come back again, you know? And I'm 57 today, so it's 30 years ago when I had, had my, my diagnosis and my, 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 uh, my treatments. Um, the cancer didn't come back, but, the fear is still there and you know I, it, it's it, it's easier for me now to speak about all that but believe me whenever I feel some pains and aches or I'm in a in a in a mood where which I cannot track to any cause this fear is coming back which is a normal reaction of uh, of you of human beings because we have this huge brain and uh, we constantly think about things and uh, but I can handle it nowadays but just to share with you it will probably accompany me till the end of my last breath because once you have it it, it, it just always it's just always there maybe it's also a good thing because you maybe become a little bit more alerted and in combination with collecting good information collecting a a great amount of education, you, it's easier for you to make the right decisions. You know, and I think a lot of people suffering from chronic diseases nowadays, they suffer from it, not because they want to suffer, but because they lack of education. And, and they lack of the, 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 the consequences, what they do when they do something. At all ends, diet, people just eat, you know, the, the wrong thing constantly on a daily basis. They drink the wrong thing. I know that water is in alcohol, but <laughs> you can also skip the alcohol and get the water <laughs> out, you know. And, you know, if you constantly do things wrong with your body, you will deserve a, chron a chronic disease and you will earn it. You're going to earn it. A chronic disease has to be earned. You don't get it overnight, you know, and most people earn it when they do the wrong thing on a, on a daily basis. And turning this around, if you do things right on a constant basis, you know, you are gifted with health. And I think this must be the approach of all of us because our life has 
infinite, uh, 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 has an end, you know? It's not infinitely going. And uh, 50 years ago, it was 65 to 70. Now we're, we're increasing the life expectancy. Doesn't mean that these people are more healthy. We just find more ideas how to, to extend uh, uh, the, the time frame until the last breath. Um, but like I said, uh, a lot of people, they suffer um, 20, 30, the last 20, 30 years of their life having heavily chronic diseases and just maintain these diseases without having any fun and purpose in life. And to me, this is unacceptable. You know, and I hope to you too. And I think so, because otherwise you would not be here and invest your holy Sunday to listen to that guy from Bavaria. Yeah. So I really appreciate that you came today. And, uh, and uh, um, I think we have a lot to share today. I hope I can give you some new ideas about how to stay healthy, how, how to stay healthy and become happily old with this. I, I don't like aging, frankly speaking. It, I, 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 everybody always says, "Why? Well, you, you no, know, you are so experienced." I said, "Yeah, but no, I love life." And with every, with every year you become older, you know it's gonna be closer to the end. Which is this is what it is. We have, that's that's the truth, you know. And um, I'm pretty conscious about that, and that's why I, together with with Veronica. Uh, we try to make the best out of every day, you know, uh, to, you know, to just invest every minute in something good, whether it's the business, whether it's the, 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 the private life, whether it's how we're going to deal with each other, how we're going to talk to each other, uh, whether how I talk to you guys, to our representatives, to our clients all over the world, you know, I think we need to appreciate every minute because we have to leave this planet, you know. And the last shirt has no pocket. Uh, you know, never forget this. So, um, with this in mind, let's get into PMF. Because when I got diagnosed, I discovered this technology because, because of my chemotherapy, I started uh, suffering from insomnia. And uh, it was at that time when the first PMF units appeared on the market and at that time, scientists found out that um, PMF works pretty good for people who are suffering from sleep problems. So when you expose them through an applicator with this kind of uh, electromagnetic radiation, they started sleeping better. Which is a blessing for a lot of people, because, you, because sleep is important for our body, because that's the time of the day or the night where we regenerate, when our entire uh, uh, organism uh, is on reset mode, you know, recharging everything, balancing all the systems and stuff like that, you know, uh, giving the cells some peace and freedom. Um, to, to, to collect themselves again, and so on and so on. So sleep is, is, is more or less the number one foundation of a healthy lifestyle. And um, I bought a system at that time, and it kicked in for me. It took a while. I remember it was four to six weeks or something like that. But I started sleeping better. And then, of course, I felt during the, during the days when I was awake, that my energy came back because I, I, I got back into this rhythm. You know, the night was for rest. The morning, you know, after a good sleep, you get up, you have a lot of energy again. You, you feel that your body is, is, is functioning on all levels. And of course it was a process, it went slowly, but I felt it, you know. And when, when you ever were so low on energy level, like I was after my cancer treatments, because I, I, I can clearly share with you, I had days during that time where I didn't want to stay alive anymore. Because I just didn't feel my body anymore. It made no sense. For what? You know? And, and then when you slowly get back this energy, and when you slowly feel that you, your body is capable of doing miracles by itself, just by giving, giving it the right kick, the right language, the right message, the right energy. Um, this is what I experienced, and 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 that was a very profound experience for me. I can I can tell you, and based on that, 
I got really intrigued about this PMF thing. I started asking questions. I started doing research, which was a pain in the ass at that time because Google was not invented. Yeah. You had to read books. You had to go to lectures. You had to go to conventions, to fairs, to wherever, you know? And, um, and but, you know, th that's me. You know, I was just driven by this idea that this is cool stuff and this is what people who suffer from cancer should have in their hands. That was at that time my idea because it helped me, you know, and nothing beats a personal experience. <laughs> nothing, you know, no study in the world, even if it's placebo controlled, double blind whatsoever, beats a personal experience. And and then, you know, I made a decision to go away from sports. I, I realized that it's too boring for me and, and, and too one-sided. I don't know, it was just not too, it was just not sexy enough for spending another 40, 50 years in my life, you know. And I went into that business. And I started um, selling the devices for the company at that time I bought it from which I stopped very quickly because it was not professionally done. It had costed a lot of money. <laughs> so I thought I could do that better. Uh, I, I thought so. And then I realized, oh, I'm not an engineer. And this looks like complicated. Um, and, but you know how it is when you're on a mission, you find the right people because you go for that, you know? It's like if you, <laughs> If you walk like this through the city, it, it takes only 20 minutes and 10 people will follow you like this. You know, but if you follow you like this and you open to everything, people, you attract people, they ask questions, you know. And this is how I ended up, I, I, at the beginning I always thought incidentally, but it was not an incident because I was on this mission. I was seeking for the people to help me to get this going. And I found them. I found an engineer. By the way, this, the engineering team from that time, 26 years ago, is still working with me. Wow. And it, yeah, and it's still doing the, 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 the upgrades and the updates and the ideas, you know. And then I found the manufacturing company for the electronics 26 years ago. And you know what? They are still working with us. And then I found the, com the company doing the applicators, which is a, which is a combination of of, you will not believe it, of extremely skilled women from Hong Kong because they are suing these applicators. And this is a very special technology to do that. You need skills, you know. To be, and they, you know what? They're still doing it for us. It's the same person, you know. So the entire core team I started this business with 26 years ago is still with us. No? And um, I, I could never imagine that something like this happens, you know, but that's a cool record and I'm very proud of this and it makes life easier when you, when you, when you come out with something new because you always talk to people who understand your language already. And after this long period of time, we have our own country offices. We have two offices in Asia, one in Singapore, one in Hong Kong. We have one in Oakville in Canada, taking care also of you guys. We have one in Florida, uh, taking care of the US market. And we have two in Europe, one in Switzerland and one in uh, Germany. And um, I don't know what's com coming next. Uh, we will see, <laughs> you know, but uh, we have a lot of work and, and obviously the business changed a lot that there is still this topic on this on this slide which is called PMF. PMF is a shortcut for past electromagnetic fields. And the IMRS prime which we have, which a lot of people have in, 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 in possession now, um, it's the 10th generation of our systems which, uh, which I developed together with my team. And of course more to come in the future. Um, but um, there is, you know, there is a lot of yeah, let's say it in different words. PMF is evolving with, together with us. As you know, electromagnetic magnetic energy, as it is, doesn't change. The Schumann resonance is the Schumann resonance. The electromagnetic field of uh, frequency of the Earth magnetic field 
is 11.75 to 11.78 Hertz and it didn't change. So I always thought because all these numbers don't change, the modality per se doesn't change, but it's not true. A lot changed, you know, and what changed the most is we have a lot of competition in the market claiming that they have PMF units, which in fact they don't. Huh? And I thought, I, th I thought I, I'm going to change my lecture because, because nowadays when, we, when, when I speak to you guys, you have a much better understanding already about PMF than maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. And if not, no worries, because you will learn not only how PMF works, but you will also learn, and this becomes more and more important, why does it work? And what properties a PMF device has to, has to deliver or has to be delivered to you in order to make or to, to perform what it has to perform. And I think this is the next level I would like to dive into together with you with these lectures. 